G'day, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and today we're going to be talking about the microbes in your gut and how they might be more important than you realise. So the gut microbiome, or gut flora as it's commonly known, is a complex community of microorganisms that lives in our gastrointestinal tract. That's our stomach, our small intestines, right down to our butt, or anus. There is a lot of stuff in your gut microbiome. I mean, it can contain up to two kilograms just of microorganisms. That's over 100 trillion bacteria. To put that into really disgusting perspective, just one gram of your poo contains more microorganisms than there are humans on Earth. Crazy, right? Bitch, are you for real? So why do we have such a huge microbiome? What does it even do? Well, a lot of people don't realize that our gut actually has a huge impact on how we feel physically and mentally. That's right, the food that you eat can have a direct impact on your emotions. Let me explain. You would think that your brain controls your gut, right? But your gut has its own nervous system called the enteric nervous system, which actually works independently of the brain. And in fact, it even sends signals up to the brain, which can have an effect on our limbic system, our amygdala, our hippocampus, and even our anterior cingulate cortex. Respectively, that means that our gut can control our emotions, our fears, our memories, and even our motivation. This is why when you eat good food, you feel good, because your gut is sending signals to your brain being like, great job, more of that, keep it up. And when you eat crappy foods, you feel pretty crappy because your stomach is saying to your brain, man, I don't feel very good, this sucks, man. And science can back this up too. The forced swim test is when mice are forced to swim until they give up. If mice are depressed, they don't swim for very long. They give up and sink. But if mice are really motivated, they'll swim for a lot longer and they'll struggle really hard to survive. A study in 2011 showed that mice that were fed a healthy gut bacteria would swim for a very long time and really struggle to survive compared to mice that were fed a normal diet. This suggests that the gut microbiome of the mice was directly affecting their mental state. They also found that the mice that were fed the healthy gut bacteria also had reduced levels of stress hormones in their blood. Now, we aren't mice, but we're seeing a lot of similar results in human experiments too. I mean, serotonin, the happiness hormone, makes us feel good. And 95% of the serotonin that's produced in our body comes from our gut. So it makes sense that if you keep your gut happy, you're gonna feel mentally happy. And so that raises the question of how do we keep our gut happy? And how do we improve our gut microbiome? Well, there's an entire ecosystem of microbes in your gut, and the makeup of this ecosystem has a huge effect on who you are as an individual. If you're overweight or if you're skinny, if you're stressed out or you're chilled out, if you're motivated or if you're depressed, this is probably caused or at least influenced by the microbes in your gut. And this gut microbiome is largely developed in the first few years of your life. So there's actually not that much you can do for it now. I mean, just hope that your parents were good to you and fed you a nice, varied, healthy diet, not just like frozen pizzas or candy. Although that would have been a cool upbringing. However, there are things you can do to improve your gut microbiome. Eating really healthy, things like fruits and vegetables, you know, lots of fiber, and lots of probiotic foods like yogurts, cheeses, and soy. Even hanging out with animals can improve your gut microbiome. and you want to avoid certain medications like antibiotics, that's going to destroy your gut flora. And in the future, there might be more effective ways to manipulate your gut microbiome to improve your mental and physical health. But for now, just eat healthy and be aware that our gut has a huge impact on our brain. An unhappy gut can be the cause of an unhappy mind. And it's important to not always blame things like depression on our head, but maybe on the foods that we're eating or the bacteria in our gut. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you learned something in this video, click the like button down below and let me know what you think about the gut microbiome in the comment section down below. Finally, next week's video is going to be all about drinking at high altitudes. Does it get you drunk faster? Anyway, make sure you subscribe for more traveling science every week. I'll see you next Science Sunday. Cheers.
Man, I don't feel very good. This sucks. There is a lot of stuff in the gut microbiome. It can contain up to two kilograms of microorganisms. 